class and ID attributes. To target an element in CSS as a selector, we've been referring to them by their element name. But there are two attributes for elements that can identify them with a different name. Because we might have a whole lot of P tags on our page, but maybe we only want to apply some CSS to only one or some of them. That's when classes and ID attributes come in handy. They can be used in HTML elements and also targeted as a selector in CSS. The developer can choose the name or value of IDs and classes, but they shouldn't start with a number. These ID and class attributes are placed inside the beginning tag of the element. Then later when CSS is used, the ID and class values can be used to target just that element. IDs and classes don't affect the presentation of an element unless there's a CSS rule selecting that class or ID that indicates it should be displayed differently. If I had four paragraphs and I only wanted every other paragraph to have a light gray background, how do I target just some of the paragraphs in CSS and not others? If I target the P element, they'd all be shaded. I could give the paragraphs that I want shading to a class name of shaded. Then in CSS, I target not the P tag, but the class name of shaded. To show that it's a class, we put a dot or a period in front of it. This tells CSS to look for a class name. Now I can put a background color and it will apply to only the paragraphs with that class name. IDs work similarly, but an ID attribute is used to uniquely identify that element from others on the page. This means I can't apply one ID name to multiple elements like I did the class shaded. If I give my H1 an ID of my header, I can't use the ID with that value my header anywhere else in this HTML document. If I do, my code will not validate. To apply CSS to that ID, I could use the ID name with a hashtag in front of it. This tells CSS that you're looking for an ID called my header. So dots are for classes and hashtags are for IDs. You could also use a class name that is used only once on the page as well. And CSS can be applied to only that one class with the same results. So there's always some confusion as to why we need IDs. If you go on to learn JavaScript later, for example, ID attributes can be used to allow the script to work with that one particular element and no other. So there are reasons that you might um, use IDs that will make more sense to you later. Elements can also have more than one class. For example, if I wanted to emphasize this text to be more bold and red, I can apply a class of emphasize to it. If I also want another paragraph emphasized, I could give it two class names. So now it has the shaded class name and the emphasize class name. In CSS, I have two different rules for each of those class names. You could even have an ID and a class in one attribute. I can add the emphasize class to my H1 element that already has an ID. As your website grows larger with more and more HTML pages, it's nice to have just one CSS file so you don't have to reuse the same CSS for parts of the page that remain the same. But simple element name selectors can affect multiple pages in unexpected ways sometimes. So using meaningful classes and IDs can help organize your CSS for multiple pages as well.